Well, it's been a busy week. I uh, been welding a lot on the frame here. Almost got it done. I think the only thing I need to add at this point is something for a gas tank mount. Um, the welding process got speeded up when my wife bought me an early, uh, quite early birthday present. This uh, 125 amp inverter type welder. Uh, it was like 240 bucks, and uh, I'm telling you, that thing welds. It puts that old 80 amp uh, transformer type to shame. Uh, the other thing, uh, this week marks the 50th, uh, well, I guess you'd say anniversary of the death of uh, Bruce McLaren. Uh, an unfortunate uh, accident took his life uh, testing uh, a similar car to this model, the M8D. And then uh, I was uh, able to go watch the Can-Am race at Mossport that, uh, uh, let's see now, Dan Gurney won, number 48, driving a similar car to this. Then... Uh, his name Jackie Oliver came in second, and then Denny Holm driving uh, number five, uh, M8D, uh, came in third. Uh, Denny was driving with burnt hands, so uh, he let uh, Dan Gurney pass him. But anyway, it was quite the race, and uh, it's unfortunate that uh, Bruce passed away 50 years ago. Uh, anyway, so I'll just show you here. So now it's officially mounted to the frame. I got... Uh, Mounts there at each cross member, four bolts through it, so uh, I don't think it's going to lift off. Um, I just got two of them in place, but even at that, I, I can't pick it up. I can't lift the, the front end up anymore. It's too heavy with the, the original frame down below. And I've um, gusseted in here, added a bunch of gussets. You can see uh, different directions boxed or gusseted are in there at the front. Basically trying to stop deflection uh, any direction that it's possible. This is my main uh, central one here. The starter will uh, mount back in this area and so hopefully it doesn't flex front to back. There's not much I can do except gussets like this. But anyway, I'm about ready to uh, put some uh, motors on it. 